Alright boys, what is up? Today we are back with another video. This is going to be a showcase on the newly added Brandon Royval. Obviously, as you can see, he got added to the flyweight division. He is 4.5 stars as well to go along with it. Uh, he is labelled as a boxer, so we'll see how true that is. Let's get into his stats. So, perks. First of all, he has wake-up call, recovers from stones quickly and knockdowns more quickly, which is, I mean, he can't complain. Out of the gate as well, strike consumed, a striker consumes less stamina during rounds 1 and 2. Workhorse uses less stamina and grappling when on the ground. When grappling on the ground, my apologies, and a carved of wood incoming damage is less effective when you have um, less health than, your, than the opponent. Um, Alright, let's get into a stat. So, first of all, he has 4 star in the striking department. He has 93 punch speed, he has 90 punch power. Along with 88 accuracy, 89 blocking, so, you know, I really don't know what to think of the whole boxing label on him, but let's get into his other stats and we'll see if they're any better, I should hope so, considering he is 4.5 star and he's not looking very too uh, too good at the moment. Um, but to go along with it, he does kind of make up, he has 93 footwork, so at least he won't be kind of sluggish around the cage. Uh, ATA switch stance, switch stance luckily doesn't mean too much, uh, along with that he has low takedown defense which is another kind of stat that isn't uh, too important in the game, along with 92 kick power and 92 kick speed, so kick speed, kick power and punch speed being the you know, stars of a striking but even then it's not great, um, but fortunately he does have 4.5 stars in his grappling, low takedowns, but if you are managing to get on top maybe with that you know, 93 punch speed you can secure a knockdown, he has 93 top, uh, top control, 91 bottom control, 94 subs, 94 sub defense, along with that he has a, a pretty good 93 ground striking, so if you secure a knockdown you can get the finish or even just do lots of damage if you posture up and you find yourself in a dominant position with that 93 top control. Poor clinch strike and a poor clinch control, but hell and ever. And then, here we go, 4.5 star in health department, 93 cardio, which is really nice. As well as that, he has 94 chin, cannot complain, 90 body, 90 legs, and 92 recovery, which is sweet. But, something nice here is, he does have 4 star leg chokes, 4 star orthodox chokes, 4 star guillotines, 4 star BJJ transitions, so he may possibly have rubber guard, yet to see, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, who will I choose to fight? I'll uh, go against Kai Kara, France. I just like to do it because he has. I just like to fight uh, boxers or kickboxers whenever I'm doing a showcase because uh, I like when the AI doesn't clinch spam me, you know, or uh, take down spam. Right, so let's get into it and show off some of his moves and just him as a whole. He is a southpaw fighter. Oh, and I forgot to say, um, Kai Kara France and Charles Oliveira were given their newly uh, their new back tattoos. So nice little model update to the pair of them with their tattoos being added. Um, teep gets caught, unfortunately. He does have a teep. Let's see what let's see what he has as far as so he only has a front kick. Um. Wait. Oh no, I thought he didn't have a lid. Um. I thought he didn't have a lid head kick for a minute. Let me see. Does he have a side kick or anything? He does not have a side kick. It's been a back fist. Does but he has the. He doesn't have um the normal spinning back. Yeah, no, he doesn't have the spin and back fist, the normal one. He does have the other spin and back fist, which is the more unconventional one. But, I mean, you can find its usage. He, the one perk about him is, obviously, he is just really tall and really lengthy, so you can keep the likes of it. Um, a DJ, a Kai Kara France, a Dillashaw, and even the likes of a Brandon Moreno on the end of that jab. Put that 93 punch speed to use, kind of keep him on the end of your range. Punish him for coming in. And as well as that, obviously, he did have pretty good kick power and kick speed. So, doing a good job here. Just kind of, as I said, punishing Kai for trying to come in with them teeps. Oh, beautiful. Let's see. Cannot secure anything as far as takedowns go. 
Oh, beautiful. He failed smooth, though. You know, for his uh, striking stats being not as pretty uh, as he thought, he might have high-level moves as far as his um, punches and kicks go because he feels really smooth on the feet. And he does have that nice little haymaker. He doesn't have the slow overhand. He has that haymaker. So if you get somebody blocked down, I do suggest start winging haymakers like your life depends on it. No flying knee. No, I tried the other variation of it. Doesn't have that one either. All right, no flying knee for him. It's all good. Just going to start winging these overhand. Just trying to take Kai's head off. Yeah, I think honestly the best thing about him is the fact that he is so lengthy. And um, we'll try and secure a knockdown here hopefully soon. And... With that, I want to try and see what submissions he has. Front kick him. No, gets his block up just in time. Rear hook, unfortunately, does not land. Koi is on his back foot. You know, I thought I'd be the one having to be having to be chasing, but evidently not. Oh! Duck body hook. Does not go the plan. Rear body kick doesn't land either. Whatever. Going into round two here. Gonna just try and keep working on that Kai Carafrance body. But yeah, as well as uh, Kai, or Brandon Roy Val being added, obviously, Jack Della Madalena also got added. And uh, alongside them two new additions, we had a new uh, addition to the women's flyweight division in Erin Blanchfield. So I will be uploading a showcase on her. She's a four star, but I do expect that they have pretty, pretty good uh, grappling. I think she has a fight against. It is. Why can't I remember her name? The one that brings Shevchenko basically to a really close decision. It's not Amanda Rivas, it's not Lemos. Just cannot remember her name. Talia Santos, there we go. Yeah, I think she's taking on Talia Santos next, but can't get distracted here. Getting distracted and Kai's, you know, starting to take away a little bit. But fortunately, we do have them health stats on our side. And, to be honest, he has one of the best perks in the game being carved the wood. So, there we go. Landing that body kick again. Landing another rear body kick. Rear knee does not... Oh, we're starting to... Starting to land a lot here. As I said, starting to get them blocked low. Oh! Unfortunate. Anyone ever... Oh, he does have the full guard sweep, though. There we go. Into rubber guard. Dangerous, dangerous. Let's see what Koi can do to get out of here. Gets denied. Building up lots of GA here and just doing really good body damage. This is really a good though because to be honest, not many fighters in this flyweight division have submissions or have a, a rubber guard. And I think the the best fighter in the division with rubber guard would be Davison Figueredo, but even then he does not have any submissions from that position. So, oh, and it looks like we're about to get to show one of them off that he has. This is the Elmo Plata. Look like we're about to tap this Kai Kara France out. Yeah, it's going to be a cheese stream for flyweight, unfortunately. There we go. Get knocked down, survive, put him at the rubber guard, and that is all she wrote. Fun stuff, though, yeah. You can tell if you want to if you want to win with Roy Val, especially on ranked, you know, keep your, pun keep your opponents on the end of them jabs, and if you can get that takedown with them amount of submissions, with them rubber guard, with them, uh, with a full guard sweep as well, you're gonna be a nightmare if anyone's looking to try and grapple you. Beautiful stuff, and he does that really high bottom control stat, so he will be, uh, he'll be an absolute pest to keep on the bottom. If you're a wrestler in the flyweight division, but yeah, boys, there we go. If you've liked, it look, it'd be appreciated. And if you have not already subscribed, be much recommended. Um, if you've enjoyed, like I said, yeah, appreciate yourself for watching once again, and. Peace out.